to share to you my transition from being a senior carer and now a qualified nurse here in the UK. Hello, my name is George here. Welcome to our channel. And today we have a very special guest. My name is Cor and I'm your Bishop Nurse from Southeast England. Uh, my hello everyone. Good day everyone. My name is Cor. I'm a nurse here in the UK. I've been working as a nurse here for three years now. I started my career as a senior carer and eventually progressed as a UK nurse. One knows best. So I came in the UK as a dependent of my husband's working visa back in 2017. I started my career in hospitality and then eventually I worked on all the NMC requirements to become as an official nurse here in the UK. So back in 2017, I worked as a hotel receptionist. So that's where I practiced my communication in English. And then during that time, I was also self-reviewing to do the OAT. So at first, I took my first OET in, o in London, but unfortunately, I failed. And then, but I never lose hope. I just move on and and um, work on how to um, pass my English exam. And then eventually, in year 2018, we decided to move to Northern Ireland. And then I managed to um, I managed to land a job in a nursing home in Belfast, Northern Ireland, as a senior care since. I am a registered nurse in the Philippines. I was offered to become a senior carer. So during that time, I'm functioning as a senior carer in a nursing home. Um, I already, well, initially, I informed my land manager that I am eyeing to work as a nurse in the UK and not only to stay as a senior carer. And then my land manager said, that's fine. Um, you can work as a senior carer while completing your requirements for the NMC. So during that time, while I was working as a senior carer, I was also doing a self-review to do the, another English exam. So the second attempt of my OET was a failure, but I never give up. I continue studying on my own and while I was working as a senior carer. And then eventually, I succeeded for the third time in OET. Actually, that's the fifth English exam that I took because I had two IELTS in the Philippines and three OET here in the UK. So during the time, I was saving money to finance my English exams because it's not, it's not um, cheap. Taking English exams is not cheap. So once I passed my English exam, I informed my land manager, oh, luckily I passed the OET. Um, that is the first requirement to apply as a nurse in the UK. And my land manager told me, um, Okay, just work on with the other requirements and then we will let the HR know that you're working on your um, qualifications. So then uh, on the same year, that was 2019, uh, mid of 2019, I took my CBT and luckily enough, I passed it in one take. So once I completed the uh, English exam and the, OE and the CBT, I applied to NMC registration and then I was just waiting for the NMC decision letter. And once I received my NMC decision letter, I informed again my land manager, oh, finally, I got my NMC decision letter. So you can um, enroll me now for courses. And since my line manager and my work co-workers are very supportive of me with my plan to become a nurse, so they enrolled me to OSCE courses. Initially, it's for free, of course. The OSCE courses, the OSCE trainings. First week of December 2019, they booked me for an OSCE exam in Ulster University. And then on the second week, I received my result and I got my NMC pin. So that was my transition from being a senior carer, then becoming a qualified nurse here in the UK. And then I functioned as a staff nurse. So my colleagues were very happy that I progressed from senior carer and then eventually I achieve my dream to become as a UK nurse. Man knows best. But in my heart, I've always been wanting to work near London because um, maybe the um, countryside type of lifestyle is not really for me. 
So there are a lot of opportunities when you work near London. That's what that was I was, I was thinking at that time. And we have also uh, more friends who live in England. So I informed my manager, oh, unfortunately, I have to resign. So that was just two months after I got my NMC pin. So my manager was caught by surprise and she said, oh, okay, so I have to inform the HR about it. I already expected it that they were going to do salary deductions. So, of course, when I left the company, they deducted the OSCE training and the OSCE exam. But I never regretted the decision because in my heart that I really wanted to go back to England. So, um, early of 2020, I got a job in a nursing home again in Reading, England, but it's a different company. So if you want to learn more about UK life and if you want to um, get more information about nursing and career career in the UK, please check out my YouTube channel, Cordapia TV. So don't forget to like and subscribe to that channel. Thank you. So currently I am a um, head of care or a unit manager for those residents who have nursing and dementia needs. So what can I say for those aspiring um, nurses who want to work here in the UK? Um, giving up, don't put it in your vocabulary. That is my mantra. Giving up is not part of my vocabulary. So not all things will go as planned, but never lose hope. You know, don't give up and just trust the process. And what can I advise is that if you are planning to enter the UK on a carer visa or as a senior carer, please be, be straightforward and be honest to your employer. In, um, inform them that you are really eyeing to work as a nurse here in the UK because um, if you inform them that you are really eager to work as a nurse and you want to progress from a carer or senior carer, they will support you. I'm telling you, they will support you. I think that's what I have loved about UK, the culture. Once they see a potential in you, they will support you along the way. Always remember, Manu knows. Manu knows best, but you always do rest when staying in the 